Yo, what's up, boys? So, uh, I've gotten a lot of questions about my last video. Uh, this video right here about my spinning crane kick. How I did this uh, insane clip. Where I literally just one-shot this guy. So, uh, let's just start with seeing the clip here. I got it right here for you. We'll maximize this bitch. Here we go. I'll turn the volume a little bit up. The PS is for nothing. I'll go over it after we see the clip. Just so you guys like get the idea of it. If you haven't seen the other YouTube Hello, video bro. yet. Nice, he pops his shit. Nice. So, uh, this, uh, this guy goes hard on my druid. And my druid just plops like a fucking Don't pancake. die, boy. man. As you see, I got a fucking annoyed. This uh, is my I was fucking like, shit. chance. Come on, dude. They pop their shit. Oh, that goes so out, annoying, And uh, here it comes, man. This is the clip people have been talking about. I see my proc, and there he goes. Oh! <laughs> Spinning crane kick! <laughs> <laughs> like it Holy still amazes shit. me right now like how the fuck i did that because it is insane man this guy literally got one shot by one spinning crane kick which is uh fucking crazy okay let's uh, let's go over this clip again but see what i actually do to get this off this shit so nice. as you see i i hit this guy one time so i got one stack off the priest got one stack off the windwalker i'm getting stacks off his pets and his swin so right now i have Don't four die, stacks man. five stacks now as my druid dies this was my fucking chance. I keep getting chance. stacks up. I have four stacks right now. I think I get five stacks before we oh, do it. Oh, you're so annoying, man. Okay, so they popped. They have popped all their shit right here. I do have four stacks up. I could probably get one more stack, but I just wanted to focus on the kill as I got the proc. I'm very invokers right now, so my uh, my proc is going to be very fast. My spinning crank is going to be very fast here. I see, I see my cut to He pierces before. He parried before. Buried before. And now he's just outside here, just at me, thinking he won the game. I see my proc. I pop every single cooldown I have. And I just hit the button, boys. Oh! And he dies. <laughs> Spinning crane kick! So there's, uh, there's a little bit of factors here. But the main one just being, keep your stacks up, man. If you get a proc, get as many stacks up as you possibly can. As po you possibly can. So if, like, all pets can do it, totems can do it, because they... If you hit them and they die, it doesn't count. I don't even think it counts if you just hit them and they still are alive. But the other thing is uh, the conduit, of course. You do want to have calculated strikes up. I only have it in 184, which that means it could be way bigger if you had this in 226. And yeah, boys, that's pretty much it. We'll try and get one here. So the way you get procs, if you might not know. Oh, I just got a proc right here. It's just using chi. So what we do now, we get our stacks up on everybody. You see, we have six stacks up now. We pop everything. And we do 6k. We do so much damage, man. It's actually nuts. So let's see. It hit It hit for almost 14k. One proc for 14k. If you have six stacks up and you have all your damage ready, it is worth popping your damage to get the proc off if you're certain you're going to get the whole damage. Because you will almost one-shot someone or get as close to it as possible. And you can probably finish it off with the remaining burst you have. So when I do this, I am using Serenity. Because I'm using Swin Stresher and that burst meta. Which I find really, really good. And this actually pairs extremely well with Serenity as well. From my experience. You do want to pop both weapons of order and Serenity. And one thing that's worth mentioning is... This proc or this uh, stack on them lasts only 20 seconds. So, you have to be aware if they fall off. You can sort of cheat on stacks, but you have to be aware that you only have a 20 second window when you when you get them up. Welcome. Or even smaller, right? Because they fall off. And the proc you get from spinning crank it itself, it only lasts for 15 seconds. So, it can be uh, it can be worth going for the damage with maybe 4 or 5 procs. Even if you can get 6 proc ups, just because you maybe won't have time to get it up. See, I it procs now. It's only up there for 15 seconds. I'm doing this over here. Trying to get it all up. And now there's only 5 seconds left. I gotta be extremely quick with it now. And here we go. And I do it out. Yeah. See, but this is uh, this is like the best thing possible, right? They just stand around each other. You're never gonna have this in-game. So you, you have to be really quick. And it's situational how many stacks it's worth getting up for you to then do the damage. It's not ever worth losing this without pressing it. So yeah, if you only get four or three stacks up, it's still worth. Because it's still a hell of a lot of damage, boys. But yeah, boys, that's pretty much it, man. 
Uh, I got that clip while I was streaming on my Twitch. So if you wouldn't mind uh, going over there and hit me with a follow, that'd be fucking nice. But yeah, boys. I just wanted to explain this because a lot of people ask how I did get these uh, crazy, crazy clips. I'll see you in the next one, boys. Peace it out. Survive.